Hey everyone, Jack here, and today I want to take a quick second to uh, show you the new library functionality in the Papilio Design Lab software. I've been uh, working hard on this for the last couple of weeks and uh, finally have something to show and share. Um, so, you know, let's start with some context here. So basically, Design Lab is the idea, the notion of taking the Arduino software, the Arduino IDE, and expanding it with the ability to associate circuits with your sketches. So uh, a design lab project is going to have uh, Arduino style library, Arduino style sketch, and also uh, an FPGA circuit associated with the project. It's all tied together. So one of the really critical important things or one of the things that makes the Arduino software great is the libraries. You can go out on the internet and you can find all kinds of libraries that you can download and bring into your system and expand the functionality of your sketches. So it's really important as uh, you know I, I was speaking to Max Maxfield over at EE Times a couple months ago and he pointed out that this is a really critical thing to get right with Design Lab and also he pointed out that it would be great if we could share our libraries and our projects so it's really kind of on his advice that I've done all of this work and I think it's going to be very worthwhile so um, let's just set the stage and take a look at let's make a new project we'll call it uh, oh, hold on here we'll call it test and so when we make a new design lab project um, if we take a peek into, we'll hit Control K and we'll bring up the directory. So if you look in the directory for your new project, you see that there's the sketch that you'd normally see, but there's also this circuit um, folder which contains a Xilinx ISC project that defines the circuit that you use with the sketch. So we're going to close the sketch and uh, our, we'll close the folder. And so in the, the IDE, if you click on this edit circuit it brings up the associated circuit in the Xilinx ISE editor and we could take a look and so we've got our circuit here and oh, hold on let me resize this so we've got our circuit and if we go and we look in the symbols we see that we can build on our circuit by using these symbols which I I prefer to call instead of calling them symbols I call these chips because these are more like adding a chip so like if we wanted to add a UART chip or a SPI chip or a uh, a YM2149 audio chip or the uh, Commodore 64 chip so these are all chips that we have available that we can put into our circuits so that kind of sets the stage for what we want to do here that's how a normal project would work so let's exit so the problem is you know we're providing a, a base set of chips but what happens when you want to design your own chip so in the Arduino it'd be like designing your own library so uh, what I've done is I've added the ability to fairly easily design your own chips and integrate them all into a library that you can package up into a zip file and share with people. So if you want to make a new design lab library you go to Papilio then here and you click on this and then uh, we'll go ahead and make a new library called demo lib and then what this does is it will pop up two windows one window that has uh, an example so a template with an example for your new library and then another sketch that has all the steps you need to make your library so uh, there's a couple of steps let's just go over them real quick the first thing is you're going to define a chip and uh, then you will define a circuit that will have your chip in it and then you need to define Arduino style libraries which are comprised of CPP and .h files and then you need to create an example and then uh, finally you can share it so um, you know this is actually kind of intermediate level type tasks so if this seems like too much don't worry um, it's you won't have to 
do this to use Design Lab. It's just for when you get to that intermediate level and you want to make your own libraries. These are the tools to do that. So uh, the first thing we want to do is let's do the define our own chip. And this is going to bring up uh, ISC with a specially made project where we can first of all start out by editing our design and it starts with so it brings up a template so this template has a very simple chip implemented and basically this is a wishbone compatible chip um, that simply has three or four buttons and four LEDs uh, and so if we wanted to change this chip and and further expand it to be something that we want it to be uh, the first thing we could do is we st start out by editing the symbol and then you can add more uh, pins and that sort of thing in this case we're since this is just a demo we're just going to move this and straighten that up so we'll close this and then uh, it wants us to update it okay and so now if we want to define the actual functionality of this chip we uh, right click on it we go to symbol and push into symbol and right now this is all defined in VHDL all in the future I'll provide schematic examples as well but right now it's just about getting the framework in place so in this VHDL example um, I've simplified it I've hidden all the complexity of the wishbone functionality so it's very simple VHDL and basically all you have all you have to worry about is you have uh, registers and you can assign these registers to you know your external pins so like LEDs uh, connect to register 0 in this case and buttons connect to register 1 okay so uh, when you dive into this it'll make more sense later but okay so this is how you define your actual symbol or your chip as I call them and once you've defined the functionality for your chip uh, one of the cool things that I've set up here is that you can simulate your chip so you just switch to simulation you uh, you can double click on your so this is a test bench to simulate your design and basically what it's doing is it's writing certain um, values to the wishbone bus and it is also uh, setting certain stimulus on the external pins so for example the button pins um, it's writing a certain uh, stimulus to those pins so that we can test and simulate and make sure everything works as we expect so we can click on the simulate behavioral model and this will open up your new chip in ISIM which is a, a VHDL uh, simulator um, and what this does is this allows us to look at the waveforms of this design with, when the stimulus is applied to it and we can check these waveforms and make sure that our chip is behaving as we expect it to behave and this is where you'll you the, this is your first line of debugging and making sure everything works properly so once you've uh, defined your logic and uh, simulated it and make sure everything works then you're ready to move on so we'll close this simulation and we'll close this chip designer so uh, we at this point we'd have successfully defined a chip and so the next thing we need to do is we need to define a circuit that has that chip in it so um, we already have one the the example comes so the template comes with a template example of a circuit implementing your chip so we can see here we have our demo lib chip and if we would have made any changes they would be showing up here uh, and we're connecting this chip to the outside world so we won't go into too many details on this uh, so then the next step would is that we would need to define Arduino style libraries using the cpp.h uh, 
files and th those are available here in these tabs so you know we define what the chip does uh, the chip basically has a function that lets us write to the LEDs and a function that lets us read from the buttons and then functionality that lets us define what wishbone slot we're connecting this chip to okay and then in our CPP file we actually implement the code to do those functions and that's pretty much it it's a very simple library okay so once we have that uh, then we want to define an example sketch and that's done here so this example sketch uses that library so it instantiates that library we made it sets it up it says it's connected to wishbone slot 5 and then it simply reads the buttons prints them out and then writes a value to the LEDs okay so very straightforward so okay so that's all we have to do to uh, define a, a new library that has a custom symbol or what I'm calling a chip uh, and everything you need to share it with the uh, the community and so all you'd have to do is you would go to share this with the community community you would just go to sketch or wait no I'm sorry you would go to uh, uh, where did it go okay yeah so you would go to tools and then archive sketch and then you would just uh, save the zip file we're not going to do that um, you would save the zip file and then bring up go to this link and we've got a special location set up where uh, you can it's a it's called the showcase and you can share your not only your libraries but also your any example projects that you make so okay so now let's pretend let's close these library definitions and let's pretend that you know I'm someone that came along and I want to use your library so I've downloaded it I've installed it into design lab and then I'm going to make a new project so demo use okay so um right so okay so now I've made my own new project and I want to use the chip that we just defined in my own project so I'm going to edit the circuit and this will bring up a new blank circuit with just a ZPU Uno soft processor and now if I go to symbols I'll see that demo lib, lib project library that we just created and that symbol is available for me to bring out and drag out and use in any future circuit that I design um, okay so now let's say that we don't want to go through the hassle of redefining the circuit and there's already a circuit defined in the library so we can go ahead and close this circuit and uh, wrong one so now if, if I want to instead of using if I want to override the circuit associated with this new project that I made and I want to use the circuit to find in the demo lib library all I have to do is type in define circuit and demo underscore lib okay so now if I click on the edit circuit it should bring up the circuit for the demo lib library and now Oh, it wants us to update this there's still a couple uh, kinks that I need to work out uh, this is all pretty new newly written uh, but so you see this is the same circuit that we just defined for our demo lib library so instead of making our own library we can simply use or our own circuit we can simply use the circuit that is associated with the library so you know and now I would also if I wanted to use the Arduino style library I could just go to import library and uh, here it is demo lib and it will put the include file and all the uh, CPP and H you know so it works just the way you would expect the Arduino to work okay so I think that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to show 
and basically you know it is a me it's a way that allows you to create your own libraries which include a circuit a chip and Arduino style uh, libraries that allow you to expand the functionality or pr create add-ons for the Papilio Duo and all of the Papilio boards and uh, also share that functionality with with other users so uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you want to download uh, so I should be releasing a, a alpha version of this software and I'll put a link that you can download and take a look at it yourself. And if you have the Papilio Pro or the Papilio One, this should be working for those boards. If you are waiting for the Papilio Duo, um, that should be coming soon.